If you're like me and like to desolder components from old circuit boards, you've probably ran into the issue of how to test and measure all the components you've salvaged. Thankfully, I've recently been introduced to a really convenient way of doing this that I'd like to share with you guys. This is the Fenirsi LCR-P1, and it's a little LCR meter slash transistor tester. Full transparency, Fenirsi did send this product to me for free, but they don't dictate what I say about it, and they don't see this video before you do. In the box, you get the tester, a USB-C charging cable, some jumper leads that let you measure components that don't fit into the socket, and a module you can use to measure SMD components. This tester should be able to take a whole range of components, some of which include transistors, MOSFETs, diodes, inductors, resistors, and capacitors. I wanted to try out some of this functionality, and I started with this NPN transistor. I noticed that if you put the component in and then press the test button to turn the tester on, it won't actually test the component. You have to press the button again after it's on for it to actually test, just a little thing to keep in mind. It measured the transistor perfectly and even gave me some more information about it beyond just telling me that it's an NPN transistor as well as its pinout. Sweet. How about a MOSFET? I put this N-channel MOSFET into the tester and gave it a whirl, and it tested and came back with information that lines up really well with what's on the datasheet for this chip. Measuring electrolytic capacitors worked perfectly as well, and the values that it reported made perfect sense with the tolerances of the capacitors that I was measuring. Also, measuring this film capacitor went perfectly. Inductors were also really easy to measure, however this tester does have a bit of a limitation with measuring them. They can't be below 10 microhenries of inductance, or it's likely that it will just pick it up as a very low value resistor. But measuring any sizable inductor went great. And finally, I can use some of the inductors I've salvaged, but couldn't figure out the value of. The only functionality of this tester that I was slightly disappointed in was the diode measurement. I wanted to measure this high power shock key diode from a switch mode power supply, but no matter what, the tester always picked it up as a resistor. My multimeter on diode test mode told me it was good and gave good forward voltage measurements for it, so I don't know why it wasn't working here. However, measuring this 1N4148 diode worked fine. Overall, I think this is a super awesome little tester to have around, and if you want one for yourself, check out the link in the video description. 